That's better. Yeah. No. Uh, yeah. Oh, hang on a minute. Yeah. This is a new generation Honda Civic sedan. And if you squint, it looks amazing. But if you open your eyes, it's a bit ugh. Now in building this 10th generation Civic, Honda said it wanted to combine, and I quote, good fuel efficiency, world leading driving dynamics, an unmatched interior space, and dashing good looks. Geez guys, you're only building a Honda Civic. So does it tick any of those boxes? We'll see. This new generation Civic is longer and wider than the previous gen. And from the front, it is kind of dashing with its LED headlights. And this being the sporty RS variant, it gets this piano black finish. More piano black than a piano. I like the sculpted bonnet. You've got muscly wheel arches and a almost beautiful swoopy line to the profile of the car, which has a fast back window. Um, then things get a bit wrong at the back. So everything goes dashingly well until you get to the back of the car. And then it's just a mess of angles and lines. You've got a giant rear wing on the back of it. You've got these huge crab claw tail lights. And what's that? But the back of the car is where things also kind of get good again. This boot is enormous. The Civic Sedan's boot is huge and it fits the car's guide pram easily, leaving space for much more gear as well. And then there's the impressively roomy cabin. This is a small car, but it feels like a little limo. I'm 191 centimetres and I'm sitting behind my own driving position and that's a lot of daylight between my knees and, and the back of that chair. Now the fastback roofline does limit your headroom a little bit, but it's not a major issue. Okay, sitting up front, the seats are comfortable, they're supportive. This is the RS spec and you get leather in that specification. They're a bit big, they're not too snug, so when I'm driving around I feel like I'm sort of sliding and swimming around in them a little bit. Now the cockpit, it's a bit awkward from the way it looks and the way it functions. You've got layers upon layers on the dashboard here. You've got a touchscreen which isn't very intuitive. You've got bits I'm not sure where they go anymore and, and storage boxes which are so deep you could fall into it. Um, USB holes down here which are hard to get to. It's all a little bit awkward. Along with that touchscreen, other standard features include the lane watch camera, which is a tad distracting, a reversing camera with bendy guidelines, proximity unlocking, electric sunroof, heated seats, and alloy pedals. Now there's no sat nav, but you do get Apple CarPlay as standard and you can use your phone's maps to get around. Honda says the Civic's performance was honed through real-world testing, like on autobahns. Now, we didn't get to those kinds of speeds, but the ride is excellent and the handling is pretty good too. And as we mentioned earlier, Honda said it evaluated what it calls the world's best cars in coming up with the Civic. What were those cars? Were there any Hondas on it? It'd be good to know. Pushing you along is a 1.5 litre four cylinder turbo petrol engine. Now there's plenty of grunt, but there's also a bit of lag with that turbo. The CVT Auto is super fuel efficient, but it does make the engine drone on. Honda says that in coming up with their new generation Civic, they evaluated the best cars in the world first. But I think that's led to a car that isn't cohesive. It really does feel like something that's been made by committee. You've got one person saying, I want an enormous boot. Someone else saying, it's all about the grill. Someone else shouting out, I want swoopy lines. And then there's someone going, drive it on the Autobahn. It's really disappointing because Honda is known for the gems it's made. There's the Accord, the Legend, the Prelude. God, the first generation Civic. Look, Honda has achieved its goals with the Civic RS sedan. It's good looking from certain angles. It's miraculously roomy. It rides and handles well. 
if only it would all gel together better. Now next year, the Civic Hatch arrives, and I think all those qualities bundled up in that package might be a better offering. To read our full review, click on the link right here.